So I wanted to quickly do an RF demonstration, or an EMF demonstration, I should say, of this CRT monitor here. This is a CTX color monitor, and I've currently got it on the radio frequency mode. So uh, just to give you an idea, we're about a foot and a half away, and these are the readings we're getting. So. For the purposes of this video, consider them background levels of radiation. Now, if we go up to the front of the monitor, so uh, the conventional wisdom is that CRT monitors are worse for EMF, generally speaking, uh, because of the high magnetic fields. So obviously this is measuring radio frequency, not magnetic fields right now, but this is about what we're getting right now. To, to provide some idea of that. So let's go ahead and switch modes now. Okay, so now it's on uh, a different mode. And so you can see what it's picking up, I believe in both micro tesla and milligauss. So if we back away from the monitor, getting 0.5 micro tesla and if we move towards the monitor it actually does go up significantly and you can see that it's in the yellow range for this and whoa I just touched the monitor with the EMF meter and uh, the picture changed so I'm gonna try to avoid that but um, anyways, up at the top here, and as we move down, the readings seem to increase significantly. So, the worst parts of the magnetic field are towards the bottom, probably the center bottom of this unit. And along the sides as well, you pick up some pretty high, high readings there, relatively speaking, of course. And here we are in the side. Now if we go up to the top here. So we're under one micro tesla. And if we move towards the back here. Uh, we're still at a, about a couple. So pretty much the whole unit, which is about what I expected. You're picking up some levels. And again, if you just move away from it. A couple feet then you're back to pretty much nothing so you can do the comparison next to and away from a CRT monitor for perspective here is an LCD monitor here and if we measure this just going around the monitor. This is what we pick up from that. Uh, there is also a fan running there, so actually that's possibly a source of interference right now. But on this side of the monitor, we're not picking up a whole lot. Let me go ahead and turn the fan off momentarily. Okay, and as you would expect, all of that magnetic, those magnetic fields were from the fan, from the motor, not from the LCD monitor. So, we're not picking anything up from that. It's actually all from the CRT. Okay, so that is that mode. There is one other mode, and I pretty much never use these other two modes. So, okay, so now we're at volts per meter. And as you'd expect, if you come away from it a little bit, you're not picking anything up. And right on the monitor itself, any what the meter indicates are pretty high levels. So this is the electric field here. 
So as you'd expect, that's also pretty high. And again, it does seem worse about right here in the center, near the bottom. That's where readings tend to be the worst. If we come up here to the top, we see that some of that persists as well. And this is why distance really is important. If you're right next to the CRT monitor right in front of it. Oh, so we actually got an overload there, I think. Wow. So these are very high, actually. Now, I mainly work with RF, so I'm personally not qualified to interpret these readings, but the fact that it's in the red range and it just overloaded suggests that it's probably not great to be sitting right in front of these. But if we move a few feet away, then readings drop off to almost nothing. So as with anything, distance is your friend. If you have a CRT monitor still for whatever reason, you don't want to be right in front of it. At least keep a few feet of separation is what I would say. Now for comparison, let's check out the LCD monitor. And we don't get anything really. So, oh, of course the fan is here. But away from the fan, we're not picking anything up. And if we come back to the CRT, we see that levels pick up again. So, it's basically specific to the CRT monitor. And this is what you would expect. So, the RF, again, is, is not such a big thing with these. It's mainly the magnetic field and the electric field or the volts per meter measurement here. Uh, probably even more so this one than the magnetic field, but both of these are particular concerns with CRT monitors. So that would be the main consideration here and just keep your distance. That would be the most important thing.